Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Welcome to the NRL trial game review between the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks and the St. George Illawarra Dragons. If you didn't catch the game, I was on the Always Brisbane Broncos YouTube channel. He was live streaming the game. I was with him in the live stream. And if you haven't checked out that live stream video yet, make sure you go and check it out. And also go and subscribe to his YouTube channel as well. You know, I think he deserves to get more subscribers. And it'd be good if you guys could help him get to 100 by the end of the weekend or so. But um, anyway, let's get into the review between the Sharks and the Dragons. A little NRL trial game. And you know what? For a team like the Sharks and Dragons who didn't have a lot of NRL experience, a lot of youth and young players were involved in this. I thought it was a very entertaining game. Defense was thrown out the window. The final score was the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks, 36, and the St. George Illawarra Dragons, 28. So we'll go through the game, and it started off really well for the Dragons. The young fullback, Salone, scoring the first try. The Dragons got out to a good start. Then uh, Nene McDonald for Cronulla. He scored in the corner for them. And um, it was a pretty even game at that point. And then, um, oh, hang on, excuse me, I was, I was wrong. It was Salone and Sullivan scoring for the Dragons. They were up, I think it was 10-0 in the first five minutes. Then Nene McDonald scored for the Sharks. He hit back with the Sharks in the corner. And then uh, Iro scored for the Sharks to level the game up, I believe. And it was game on. It was a very back and forth opening 20 minutes or so. And then uh, Jaden Hunt scored for the Dragons. The Dragons had the lead then. Then after that, uh, Wilton for Cronulla, the young back rower. He went over for the Sharks. He scored. And then um, after that, there was a try to Corrick for the Dragons. The Dragons had the lead. And then Nana McDonald scoring right before halftime. The Dragons had the lead at the break. And the Dragons were def definitely the better side in the first half. Now, doing all the little things right. But, you know, Cronulla, what they do best in ever first grade, New South Wales Cup or under-20s, reserve grade, whatever. The Sharks always stay in the fight. They don't go, they, they don't go down without a fight, the Sharks. And then in the second half, they got off to a good start there. Braden Trindle scoring a try. The, um, the Sharks forward, he was over the try line. He threw it back to Braden Trindle when he was already over the try line. So I thought that was a little bit strange. But anyway, Braden Trindle scored for the Sharks. The Sharks were back in the game. And then Hiroti, we've seen him play a few games with the Sharks last year. Hiroti scored for the Sharks. The Sharks at this stage, I believe, they are in front. And then Metcalf, the young fullback for Cronulla, who had a fantastic game, he scored for the Sharks. The Sharks at this stage had a good lead of 36 to 22. And then in the 69th minute, um, Wishart scored for the Dragons. The Dragons were trying to come back. It was 36 28. The Dragons did score in the corner with about five minutes to go. But the referees, who are a bunch of statues, they called it a forward pass. And the Sharks end up winning the game. 36 points to 28. Now, a couple of things to take out of this game. I'll go through a couple of players that I really actually enjoyed. I'll start off with the uh, losing side, the Dragons. A couple of players who I thought were very good. I thought the fullback for the Dragons was quite good. What's his name? Tyrell Salone. I thought he played quite well for the Dragons. Um... Junior Amore and Jaden Sullivan, the house pairing, I thought they were quite good as well. I thought Jaden Sullivan had a very good game for the Dragons. Probably their best player, to be honest. He could be in trouble, though, because he did a dangerous tackle. So if, if he was a chance of playing for round one, I think that chance is now going out the window. He probably gets suspended for doing that. Dangerous tackle. I thought Tyron Wishart, the hooker for the Dragons, I thought he was quite solid for the Red V. I thought Daniel Alvaro had a decent stint for the Dragons. I thought he played quite well. You know, I thought Tarek Sims and Kate Ellis were also very strong. Jackson Ford was a bit off his game. Um, also, Eddie Blacker, the young Dragons bench player. Very aggressive. Probably needs to be a little bit careful, though, because he was going to the... He was definitely pushing the boundaries, in my opinion. He played what quite well. And the other one I liked as well was Jaden Hunt. I thought he played quite well for the Dragons. Now, one to the Sharks. The players who I thought were good. I thought Luke Metcalf, the young Dragons fullback, I thought, the young Sharks fullback, Luke Metcalf, left Manly, went to the Sharks. I thought he played quite well. I thought Herodi was very strong. Caleb Mine was very strong. I wrote what the winger was wasn't too bad as well. Nana McDonald had a very mixed game. I thought he had a couple of really poor errors. So his game wasn't too bad. I thought Jack Williams and Brayden Trindle were very good in the halves together. I thought they were quite good. 
I probably need to work on the last tackle options a bit better. But I thought they were quite strong. Uh, this guy, this guy was great as well. Franklin Pele, the number eight for Cronulla, the front rower. He was absolutely fantastic. Thought he had a fantastic game. I thought Daniel Fazooks had, had a good game as well. Teg Wilton was good. Billy Magulius in the middle. He was quite solid. Um, a couple other players who I thought were good. I thought Tom uh, Thomas Hazelton. This bloke was fantastic off the bench with the Sharks. Thomas Hazelton, a guy to keep an eye on. I thought he was fantastic. Um, along with Kay Dykes. Dykes wasn't too bad either. And Jack Martin. I thought they were also quite good for the Sharks. But, you know, like I said, it was a bit of a bit of a uh, mix of a lot of New South Wales Cup and NRL players. It was, it was a very entertaining game for a trial game. And I thought both sides played well. But the Sharks, for mine, they just... The Sharks did better with the momentum, in my opinion. The Dragons, they weren't awful, but defensively, I thought both sides were pretty poor, and I thought the Sharks' attack was a little bit better than the Dragons, but in saying all that, it was a fairly good game. Now, my top three players on the field, and along, along with my man, the match, I'll go um, number three. I'll go with um, the Dragons' halfback, Jaden Sullivan. I thought he was absolutely fantastic for the Dragons. He gets my number three. Number two, I'm going to give it to that young forward, Franklin Pele. I thought he was fantastic for the Sharks. And number one, my man of the match is going to go to that fullback for the Sharks, Luke Metcalf. I thought he was absolutely fantastic. But anyway, guys, that's my um, review on the Sharks and Dragons trial game. If I had to give it a rating out of 10, with 10 being the best, I'd probably give it a solid 6.5 out of 10. It was a very entertaining game, and I definitely was entertained from this trial game. So I'll give the game a 6.5 out of 10. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up the review of the trial game between the Sharks and the Dragons. If you enjoyed this little review video on the trial game, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everyone who joined the All West Brisbane Broncos live stream for the game. It was a fantastic time, and thank you guys for stopping by. Anyway, guys, I'm getting out of here. Have a fantastic Friday night. I appreciate you guys watching the review and the live stream. Until then, stay safe. Have a great Friday night. And I will see you guys in the next one.